Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce Tower and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use the InComposer landing page builder for your Shopify store. For me this app is interesting because how great the designs are looking. So I'm going to dive deeper on how you can use it. Now if you're new here I'm writing a newsletter every single week about how you can improve your e-commerce store, the conversion rate, also on new apps to check out for your store but most importantly on monthly basis i give free feedback for your e-commerce store on how we can improve it so definitely check the link down below in the description and let's start now with the e-compose landing page builder so i got it already installed and it's nothing difficult to understand so on the left side you're gonna have on your e-composer uh, the dashboard then you can create home pages landing pages product pages, collection pages, blog pages, Shopify check sections, and global blogs. And now when I go, let's say for a landing page that I want to build, or let's say that I'm going to show you how we can build a home page, landing page, and product page in this video, okay? So on a home page, you're gonna just click here, build home page, okay? And then what we can find here. So here you have many templates that you can use from of course you can start with a blank but i'm going to choose some template here uh, then you can start changing and i'm going to show you how you can set it up so on the left side you can see also what kind of categories you want to build so if you go gonna go for landing page you can see all the landing page that you can use even the blog listing here about us contact us page so you can see and use many of the things that you can build a great oh my camera my camera just turned off, you know, like a metrics mode. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, then you can have also the lead generation. So that's something you can do. But let's start and let's go with the home page. So like let's go with the this one here that I like, the plant one. Oh, it's a, it's a VIP. Oh, I understand now. I understand now. Let's go for free. So template title, furniture, and template slug, okay, furniture. Now we're gonna have option to show on header and footer, and you can hide it or show it. I'm going to show it, but you can hide it if you want to. So in the moment when you're gonna be here, what we can do here, the whole size consists of uh, sections, as you can see on the left side, in which you can have columns. So first you have section and then you have columns. And then this is similar to Elementor. I don't know if you've ever worked with Elementor, but there you're gonna have elements too. What I like about the e-composer is how many elements you have and how many things you can um, like create with e-composer. So right here, you're gonna have like the section number one. I'm going to make it a little bit like this, okay? And you can change also the dark mode. Then. Uh, on the top, you're gonna have the pages here, the templates, and on the right side, you can always preview the website, how it looks like. And it's creating the preview right now for us. Uh, I got pop-out blocked, so I just want to show you how it looks like right now, and now it should work probably. and this is how it looks like right now and we are going to edit it so let's let's say that you're gonna have uh the this is the section two i guess yep and you see that this is the inner row and then you can have the columns here and in the columns you're gonna have the button also in the column two you're gonna have video in column three you're gonna have image and button so what you can do is that I can come here, I can expand all, or I can add a section on the left side. So when you're gonna press add a section, you can move it where you want to have it, right? You can open it. Like here, right? Or I can just take it. Uh, 
right now he doesn't want to move for some reason uh first of all because i'm planning to add some element there i guess okay so this is the structure uh structure so i'm going to let's say add an image there and now let's try to move it yep now i can move it so first you have to add um like as if you want to add a section first what you need to do in the section is to add something so this is the section 11 and this is what we have so when you're going to create a section um you need to choose uh, like what kind of column you want right so the structure or your columns and you can have like the big one or you can have like two of them here right then i can take it and it's going to be right here so under section 5 you're going to have 11 and what you can do now is to click plus here and you're going to have basic things here so you can add a text you can add a tab slider gallery accordion icon google map even testimonials right here or you can add a progress bar so that's something you can do also you can add a banner a table instagram then you can have also advanced here so you're gonna have stuff like advanced image image comparison timeline even advanced heading store locator pricing so let's say i'm going to have advanced image here or even timeline so that's something you can do and on the right side you're always editing it so when i have the shopify here let's say right and i'm going to add a newsletter or payment methods or i can add a product grid or even for single product you're gonna have options right here so this is like fully packed optimizer for your page so you can add a product tabs dynamic checkout buy now add to cart quantity wishlist metal fields reviews rating and if you want to uh, me to focus on something specific so how to build like a great landing page like let me down in the comments or how you can build a product page and i can do it for you right or even blog posts so here in elements you can find all the elements you can add to your e-composer editor and when you will have finished it, you will go to the right and you can save it as a draft or publish it. So that's something how it works. Now when I go back, I will go to back to app and show you something else. Let's say that you want to build your own landing page. So we're going to create a page. And right here, let's say uh, that you want to choose this one. And I'm going to use the free. This one like lead generation here, right? And I can choose it and start building. Of course, you can hide uh, if you want to. You can hide at the footer and uh, the top. So this is the same thing, literally, that you're going to have like pre-created and you can start editing it to your own uh, desire. Right? So you see the section. These are the to structure and then you're gonna have columns inside and on the left side you're gonna see how it looks like then you can have the elements here again same as uh, before that you can have Wednesday, shopify single product blog posts all of that that you can use too so yeah that's about it on how we can use it and when we go also back here you're going to have the product pages. And you can build a product page. So let's say that we're going to have. Like a, this one here, bicycle. Or let's say it's going to be free. Oh, this one here, right? Looks good. And you can just use the template here and just start changing so right now you see that i have my t-shirt here 
but I would need to like do some uh, changes here because it's bugged. But I have the product name, uh, this is the variant picker, product inventory, and all of the things that you're going to find are in the elements here, right? So for the single product, uh, you see that add to cart. It's something we have also here, right? Then uh, you're going to have uh, the wish list. You're going to have the reviews. So I can add reviews right here. And you would need to uh, like integrate with reviews app. So that's how it works. And that's pretty much it about this app. So you can see that you can really play around with it. It's going to take a little bit of time to scale it, but still, I believe this is a good app that you can use. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, let me down in the comments. I just wanted to make this quick introduction into the app on how we can use it. And if you want me to, I can dive even deeper on how we can use the eComposer landing page builder. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye.